the complement system the classical pathway recall that the classical pathway was first to be discovered the activation of this pathway depends on antibodies if you remember my previous video lectures you will able to remember that we talked about structure of antibody antibodies are actually soluble proteins which are produced by plasma cells and the antibody has a basic y shaped structure where the arms of the y represent antigen binding site and the stalk represents the fc region in the classical pathway complement protein c1 plays an important role remember c1 is a complex it is composed of a large subunit c1q and two proteases namely c1r and c1s let us now study the steps involved in the classical pathway the pathway begins when antibodies bind to their specific antigens on the surface of the pathogen antigen antibody complexes are formed and now here you have to note that antigen binding sites are occupied by the antigens now what is free in this antibody molecule is fc region so now c1 complex comes and this c1 binds to the fc region of the antibodies now if you remember the lectin pathway then it is easy to understand the next steps of this pathway since they are similar in the next step complement protein c4 is cleaved by proteases into c4a and c4b c4b binds to the microbial surface this is followed by cleavage of c2 into c2a which is a larger fragment and c2b c2 a binds to the c4b and c2b is the least so the resulting c4b2a complex is known as c3 convertase